Today, we're going to review the SanSmart 3020 Pro Max CNC. This CNC comes in a fairly large box and is well packaged. It's different from the other 3018 CNCs I've reviewed in the past, not only because of its slightly larger size, but it's also mostly pre-assembled, as you see here. It's essentially two big pieces that attach to one another and then need to be wired up. It's also advertised as being able to machine metal, which most of the desktop CNCs are not advertised to do. This is probably due to this one coming with a 300 watt spindle motor out of the box. We'll have to test this CNC with some metal to see how well these claims hold up. The wiring instructions were easy to follow and I put the whole thing together in less than an hour. My first impressions reveal that this CNC is much more rigid than my other ones. It uses a lot more metal instead of plastic, linear rails instead of linear rods, and the base frame is double wide. As you can see, the spindle has much less play than my DIY version. I also love that the CNC comes with a bunch of extra accessories. These include limit switches, a Z-probe, an E-stop, an offline controller, and V-bits for engraving. This being said, there are a few minor improvements I would make. The bed has these holes as a mounting system instead of clamps. I find this system more awkward to use, but maybe I'm just not used to it. The power supply isn't a great solution. I'm a little afraid that chips of wood or aluminum could get into the holes and short something because the power supply is so close. It should either be mounted somewhere on the CNC face down or use a brick style power supply. Also, the wires for each limit switch could be cut to length and labeled so there would be less excess, but I figured out how to tie them up anyways. Enough of me talking, let's do a first test making a pocket in a piece of wood. My first test with a very light depth of cut went well, but as soon as I made a more aggressive cut, uh oh, that's not good. The motor on the x-axis seemed to skip steps under the higher load. SaneSmart customer service was quick and easy to contact, and they walked me through troubleshooting. They ended up sending me another stepper motor free of charge, along with replacement instructions. Let's try that again. This time, the CNC had no problem chewing right through the wood. This CNC was advertised as being able to machine aluminum, so let's try that next. We're going to cut a circular pocket in the aluminum with a 3 quarter inch diameter. The CNC has no problem with the aluminum at 20 inches per minute. I applied some oil in the middle of the job to lubricate the end mill. This is the finished part. It's pretty close to 3 quarters of an inch and definitely visually acceptable. It would probably be even better if I did a shallower finishing pass at the bottom. All in all, I think this machine definitely does its job as advertised and cuts better than any CNC I've reviewed so far. I'd like to see a few minor changes implemented such as modifying the power supply, but hopefully those fixes will happen in the near future. As for the price, this machine is more expensive than most, but that's also reflected in the next level build quality and parts used. It's a wonderful machine and has shown great performance. You just have to decide if the price is right for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.